Okay, thank you for your patience. Attempt number two. Yeah. Uh, again, I am Vadim from Solvecare. I'm Solvecare CTO and I'm here to present you our project which we have been developing for more than 18 months now and uh, I will now try to explain it now in less than 15 minutes because almost wait, wasted almost all of my time. But anyway, we are launching global healthcare platform for administration and payments on blockchain. And our platform is designed to improve access to care, reduce administrative cost and burden, provide timely and accurate payments to healthcare providers, and implement value-based healthcare. Patient demand for flexibility in self-assessment of, of services they need from whom, when, and where and gives them ability to choose services they need, get better care, get providers paid timely, and allow all stakeholders to, to, to win. And we're serving for stakeholders like individuals and families, doctors, pharmacies, labs, and insurance companies. Insurer can delegate authority to patient to choose services they need with our platform. This is a market we're addressing. A couple words about it. This is numbers for 2015 and just for the United States. Healthcare spent was three, more than three trillion dollars, and it is predicted that to 2025 it will grow to 5.5 trillion dollars, and it is estimated that 20 to 30 percent of this spend is actually wasted because of inefficient processes, because of information system silos, and because of duplication of efforts. Our platform saves billions in costs while also saving and improving life of patients. Our platform is built on blockchain and we're using it as a distributed ledger technology which empowers all stakeholders transact peer-to-peer -peer and also have a lot of tremendous use cases which we can implement with our platform. Let me give you an example of decentralized administration use case. I, as a patient, have a need, for example, to visit a doctor, and I can publish my need on a network using my care wallet. So then doctor wallets can respond to my wallet with uh, availability and acceptance. Our wallet exchanging information in the form of care cards about eligibility, about my insurance benefits, and about my payment terms. And care card has a public side and a private side. Information which is on public side is accessible for anybody. Information which is on private side is accessible only to me or to the entity which I'm paired with. After I visited the doctor, doctor gets paid immediately with a care coin. It's an intelligent payment currency on our platform which allows uh, parties to transact with each other. And value of payment can be determined based on number of services or on the results or even on both. It all runs on top of a care protocol which combines all the entities into protocol pairs. Let me fix this. Okay, which combines all the entities into protocol pairs and uh, defines transactions between them. So another interesting examples which our prospects become really excited is uh, delegation of authority, is uh, getting rid of administration, getting rid of referrals, pre-authorizations, and long payment cycles, and so on and so forth. Couple words about our progress. Uh, we going live in May. Already signed deal with a large healthcare organization in the United States. Its size is massive. It has more than 5,000 physicians on their network, couple hundred of hospitals and facilities, and more than 300,000 of patients and families. And they will all transact on our platform. This is just for the one client. A uh, couple words about our token sale. Uh, 
we already finished our pre-sale phase. CAN is a utility token of our platform. It's a ERC-based token. It's needed for the platform to operate. It's needed for care cards to be published, for care protocol to be extended, and for uh, all the clients to transact on the platform. Uh, this is the results of our pre-sale. Almost more than 60% of all the token supply was sold during pre-sale of the token supply, which is for the token sale. And we have something left for the open sale. Open sale starts in, uh, in a week. We have good reviews on media about us, and we have strong support from our community. And uh, most important thing, we are a team of almost 60 people, and a uh, couple words about our background. Our CEO, Pradeep Goel, is former Blue Cross Blue Shield CIO, was building healthcare systems for more than 25 years, working with uh, President Bush initiative on health savings accounts, then later with uh, Obama, Obama program on Medicaid expansion. I personally, a software developer with more than 15 years of experience and out of which 10 also working with Pradeep building healthcare information exchanges and healthcare uh, systems and implementing them for various clients and state agencies in the United States. And the most important and last thing, our, our platform has a profound impact on the healthcare and it will make care effective, easy to access and timely. Thank you. Yes, please. Security as exemption. Yes, uh, you know, like the SEC, what uh, we find in Reg D. Yeah, and all the other details. We actually were good at compliance, uh, doing KYC and all other things. Again, I'm fo focused mostly on technologies, not on the legal part. But uh, I know that we are trying. All those were sold to accredited investors. Under Reg D, yes, For the United States buyers. Tokens were sold only to accredited investors, and uh, that's what—that's how we're doing it. Sure. Do you see it as a replacement, ultimately, to Obamacare type of endeavors, where uh, it's possible to create uh, a health system that would be very democratic and yet not losing money? Well, I know there is some different opinion on the Obamacare these days. Yeah, no, Very good question. Uh, the way we're building our platform, we are not positioning it as a replacement. We are not forcing you, Mr. Insurance CIO or Mr. CEO of a large hospital, to replace systems which you have and put in place ours and make everybody happy. That's, that's not possible. Our platform sits next to all those systems and allows you to engage with your stakeholders with your network of providers and patients and delegate them authority to transact with each other. And also, let me give you an example. Example which has, I was providing about patient visiting a doctor, they transact in peer-to-peer. -peer. But you as an insurer, as an interested party, you know the fact that they are transacting. So you not, not necessarily know all the details immediately because that information is private. But you being synchronized immediately so it's not, it's not a surprise for you that there were transactions between your, in your network between your stakeholders. So would you be able to connect this kind of organization to a, a new type of corporation that is based on blockchains? For example, if we have a company that is a token-based company, can we use this system, interact with the system to provide to our employees a new form of healthcare? Exactly. So the way it is built is we are not building a centralized system which, which is trying to implement all the possible use cases. Platform is based on top of protocol which allows you to combine pairs of stakeholders and with the smart contracts inject logic in their interaction. So if you have some 
for example, new entities which you need to transact with and they are not on a platform yet, well, all you need is just to extend CARE protocol with a new entity type, with a new entity pairs combination, and here you go. Uh, it can be seen like templates if we starting to use engineering vocabulary, but it's more like the way you operate, the, the way you define transactions between your parties. Yes, please. Well, for me, it's a little bit difficult to assess what is the accessibility of, uh, let's say, smartphones to that parts of society you are referring to. Yeah. Oh, the answer is definitely yes, because a platform is designed in a way it can be adopted to the needs of a population, of a geolocation or legislation. And like in well, well-developed countries like United States or uh, UK, even their healthcare models, they are very different. And in uh, other countries uh, with not that developed infrastructure around healthcare, the need is even bigger to have something like this. Thank you. Not yet, but insurers is our primary client, is a, a type of client we are forcing to, and currently we're talking to a couple of large insurers in the US, and this client which we have is, uh, is not an insurer by itself, is accountable care organization who acts on behalf of insurers and implementing programs to optimize processes in healthcare. Uh, kinda. Thank you very much.